Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Panso6 and today we are talking about EA, Disney, and a few other things that I've read about this week and the last week. Um, so first off, EA just came out with a financial uh, outlook for the next couple of years. It doesn't cover everything, but there's some things I read that was really interesting. A, um, Titanfall 2 and Battlefield 1 are supposedly coming out this fall between October and December. So, already you have two big high-profile shooters that's basically going to compete with each other. I don't know if it's a good idea, because Battlefield 1 is... It's the hype right now. It's the big thing. It's basically overshadowing Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. But if you want to check that out, just go on YouTube, check out the trailer for Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, then the trailer for Battlefield 1, and check out the like-to-dislike ratio. Uh, but... Call of Duty is going to sell a lot of copies, nevertheless. That game's almost, at this point, too big to, too big to fail. Um, but it's really going to be really interesting to see. There's going to be four big shooters coming out this year around that time. You've got Gears of War 4, Titanfall 2, Battlefield 1, and Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Um, so one of these shooters are going to have a really bad day or bad timing. Um, and I ho hope not. I kind of hope they all sell really well. Um, even Call of Duty. And I don't want to see a game series fail. I don't want to see a studio have layoffs and all this stuff. So I root for the big guy. Um, so I'm completely fine with Call of Duty selling a bajillion copies. I'm, I hope they all do, actually. I hope all these games sell really, really well. Um, but I think this year will be the first time the Battlefield has trumped Call of Duty. I think it's going to happen. I think it will sell really well. Now, I did see that the PC version is just going to have digital only. I hear that's a rumor. Uh, you can check that out um, as well. Uh, it may or may not be, but I think it will be because digital is where we're going. If you like it or not, digital is the way to go. Now, we'll always still have physical copies, but digital is going to be more, 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 and more integrated. And I like that. I like it. I buy all my games digital anyways. Um, now, another thing you, I heard from EA uh, reading a report was Mass Effect Andromeda was pushed back to next year. Uh, that way they can get more time to polish this game up and make it as good as it possibly can, which that's a good thing. That's a really good thing. Um, I'd rather them do that or release a buggy mess and sell all the content via DLC so you have to spend the $50 on the season pass which is probably going to happen nevertheless um, and another thing Star Wars Battlefront 2 was announced as well uh, that should be coming out next year next fall um, and they did say that Star Wars Battlefront 2 will feature stuff from the new movies so I don't know if it's going to be Force Awakens and Rogue One and maybe eight, I don't know. Kind of what I wish they would do with Star Wars Battlefront is make it one title with all kinds of crazy expansions. Maybe the following year do a $30 expansion, $30 expansion, $30 expansion, and add, you know, <laughs> the prequel stuff in and just make it as a service. Um, I think that would be really, really great because... I don't know. I mean, I think Star Wars Battlefront sold pretty well, um, but I don't think it sold well enough um, as they thought it would. And I think if they would go that route with making it like a service game, where you buy six, you pay sixty dollars, you get the game, and you spend you know maybe thirty dollars a year, or some maybe thirty or forty dollars a year, and you get expansions that cover all. You know all the Star Wars movies, so you're getting huge chunks of content, not just like here's five maps and new guns for forty dollars. No, that's that's a terrible idea. I'm talking about huge pieces of content, huge expansions. Um, I think that would be great. Uh, you might disagree with me. That's cool, I understand? But I think that would be really cool. Just make Star Wars Star Wars Battlefront one big game because it's multiplayer only. So I mean, you don't. We don't have a single player component or anything like that. But if they did do a single player component, that would be cool. I'd be fine with that. 
I'd be fine shelling out sixty dollars next year for Star Wars Battlefront Two. I'm fine. I actually like the first game. It's it's good. It's not nearly as good as the originals, but it's good enough. Now we also had sad news this week. Um, Disney is stepping away from game development, and they canceled the Disney Infinity line, which was um, made by the good guys over at Avalanche Studios. They worked on Mad Max as well as um, Just Cause series, which is really sad because I don't know how it's going to affect the you know the developers. I hope it doesn't hit them with a lot of layoffs because it's really sad to see studios lose such a big thing like that and get shoved out of the way because I don't want to see Avalanche Studios go down the drain. I think they may be safe because, you know, they probably have more projects coming out, maybe working on a new Just Cause or a Mad Max, and it's hard to tell. But Disney Infinity, to me, I, I never, I, I've watched uh, my fiance's little brothers play it, and it's really cool. It's the only game I've ever seen, but you can have Han Solo and Captain America and Solly from Monsters Incorporated running around on the screen at once. It's really strange. Um, but, yeah, it's really sad to hear about that. And hopefully the studio can recoup and get back something bigger. And um, it does suck if you guys are looking forward to newer versions of Disney Infinity. That does, that does stink. But I would say at this point, if you're looking for... Disney Infinity toys, I would get them now before somebody grabs them, sells them on eBay for about triple the price, because that's going to happen. At, at this point, they're just collectors. Um, now, another thing I heard about was Hideo Kojima announced that he will be working on a AAA action game, and that's it. He's working on a new game, which we all kind of figured that. But it makes me wonder what it's going to be like. Um, I hope it's kind of like Metal Gear. And I kind of wish he was working with Del Toro, uh, Del Toro again, maybe with another Silent Hill type game. That would be amazing. But I don't know. Um, hopefully it's something really good. Kojima, Kojima's, he, he's going to be fine on that. And hopefully, you know, that works. Now, there's also The Witcher 3 released a teaser trailer for uh, the Blood and Wine expansion. Uh, you can check that out. looks really good. I haven't played Witcher 3 yet. I need to. I'm still really, really behind on my backlog. I just now got to Mad Max. I finished up Far Cry Primal, um, and I've got a lot to go. I Fallout 4, still got to start back on that. I was only 15 hours in, and I've got so much to get caught up on. Doom, Doom comes out, and Overwatch beta. Um, I've been really busy with this stuff. Um also, uh, going back to EA, uh, Visceral Studios, studio behind um, Battlefield Hardline, as well as the Dead Space series, is working on a AAA uh, action Star Wars game. So that's something to look forward to. Hopefully, um, I kind of wish they would redo, like, get 1313 back. That would be awesome. And also, one more thing, uh, the Humble Bundle um, Capcom Turbo Remix uh, just got released the other day. Uh, you spend six or seven dollars, get all kinds of games like Resident Evil Revelations, Resident Evil Four, uh, Street Fighter, and a few other games. So you can check that out at www.humblebundle.com. Um, it's always a good deal if you want to get some games for cheap and also support charities. That's an awesome deal. So one more thing before I go. Uh, again, I'm working on this project. It's called Bits and Pieces. I renamed the channel. And I did a couple streams the last few days. And um, what Bits and Pieces is, is a game store that also helps people out with anxiety disorders. You can check that out at www.gofundme.com forward slash Bits and Pieces. I would highly appreciate it. Um, I'm trying so hard to get it uh, get to the point where it gets noticed. Um, Cause I really think this is going to be awesome. It's not going to just benefit me, but it's going to benefit people that suffer from anxiety issues as well as gamers in general. And I hope it does take off. And like I said, I'm not making you guys donate, but if you wouldn't care, be sure to share that for me. I appreciate it so much. And also be sure to hit like and subscribe on this video. Um, it definitely helps. And it, you know, I want this channel to be really, really awesome. I want it to grow and I want you guys to give some input on what you would like to see, what you would like to hear. And also if you need somebody to talk to, 
just message me and I'll be sure to get to you as soon as I can and just about anything I don't care if you want just to talk to somebody feel free to let me know again my name is Panto6 be sure to hit like and subscribe and I love you guys see you later